Alright, welcome to episode one of the daily rehab. And today it's a general one. Uh, it's upper and lower body, it's a bit of push, a bit of pull, uh, there's some leg extensions, sort of leg press type activities, and some deadlifting hip hinging work, along with some mobility. Now the idea with today is um, I'm gonna do some mobility work sort of pre doing the workouts. What I like doing, I like doing things in a circuit. Um, so I'll show you as we go, right? What you'll need, if you're gonna do this at home, what you'll need is quite a bit of equipment. You'll need some sort of trigger point ball, like a lacrosse ball, you need a foam roller, and you'll need some sort of bands. Now I like, I've got three bands here today. I've got a power band, it's a real thick one, that's for doing the leg work. I've got a thinner one, which is a little bit less resistance for doing a deadlift type thing. And then I've got an actual physiothera band, so a lot less than the power bands. What you could use is a mini band if you like, um, but they're a lot less. This is a blue one, a lot more than a red or a green for rehab because we're doing some pulling work. Okay, so let's start off first up. What I'll get you doing is we're going to do upper body first, and then we're going to do some lower body. So because we're doing a pulling work and using our lats, I like working on foam rolling the lats first. So you get in here on your side and try and get right onto that lat. Okay, that big thick muscle. Be careful of your ribs, don't go too hard onto your ribs. Just try and stay on that latissimus dorsi muscle. And you're just putting as much body weight pressure as you, you want to through there. Try and keep your hand up and externally rotated into there and just find those sort of tight areas because if you can release those off pre-workout, it's gonna be a bit better for you. Better going into something looser than tight. And I would spend, you know, at least 30 seconds, preferably a minute on this on each side. If you can go up to two minutes, that's quite full on, but um, it's proven to be quite worthwhile. So at least 30 seconds of that, try and get to a minute. So you do that on one side, get on the other side, into here. You'll find that one side's probably a little bit tighter than the other. And if you can, get that thumb outwards so you know you're externally rotated in that shoulder, catches a little bit more of that lat right in there, get some pressure on, I'm pushing with my leg a bit, get in there, really find those tight areas to loosen that up. So like I said, good half minute to a minute on that. You can probably get a bit of the back of the shoulder with that as well, and just release that off. Okay, so then we're straight into from there, is doing a, a really simple one arm row today. Use a bar, this could go over a door if you like, or over any sort of Thing you're going to fix it to. See I've got a quite a long band. Now what I like doing is you can tie this up as much as you like. Obviously the shorter the band the harder it's going to be. Go into your split lunge position and you're going to do a one arm row. So it's shoulder blade back, pull through and then return. Now the trick is I don't want heaps of trunk, and trunk rotation so try and keep your trunk still. This is where you can work on your core a little bit more. So you're learning how to stabilize your core and you're moving your upper body. Mostly the movement back and forward is your shoulder blade, not the rotation of your thoracic spine. Okay, so it's pull back, pull through, keep the shoulder blade back as you return and then return the shoulder blade. So it's retraction, pull through, return and then protraction. And then it's straight to the other side. Good thing about this exercise is if you squeeze on your buttock, you can get a hip flexor stretch while you're doing it. All right. So keep that buttock stretched. Don't arch your back. Just push your hip forward. Keep it stretched on. And try and work about eight to twelve reps. Whatever you can manage as long as that resistance is okay no pain with that one all right okay from there because we're super setting we're going from a pull to push we can go straight into it what i suggest you do grab that band again and we're going to do a banded push-up all right so it's quite advanced but it's still in that rehab sort of zone if you like so i'm going to come in here into this position all right, and then go into your full plank. So when I'm up in a full plank, it's like doing some core work as well. I'm in a plank, all right, and you're going to go into a normal push-up, 
but you've got some resistance there, all right? So instead of doing weights with a bench press, I can do that band push-up. Make sure that eccentric phase is slow and reasonably quick on the way up. And what you can do is add in one, up, one foot up, which adds a little bit more core flow. Alright, so that's your upper body little mini daily rehab done. And then you're going to move to some lower body work. So, what I want you to do with your lower body work is move into a QL stretch. Because we're going to do deadlifts in a minute. So, deadlifts work on obviously your glutes and your hamstrings quite a bit. It's a hip hinge which we really like doing. Obviously the bias is towards the hamstrings and some glute. But the lower back can get really tight. So what I like giving people to do is do a QL extensor stretch like this, both sides, before you do the deadlift. All right, so get rid of some of that tightness there. You don't want to loosen all the way off and get really loose because you lose some of that muscle tension. So it's important to get, you're going for stretch of the tight areas. So make sure you're trying to get around and tilt over. So it's a bend in the knee take the hamstrings out of the equation because you're stretching the back and it's a rotation all the way as far as you go and then a side bend to kick in a little bit of that QL you'll get some oblique in there and you'll get those extensors so obviously at least 30 seconds maybe up to a minute if you're really tight up to two minutes if you're very very tight and then get in one way and you'll notice whether one hip is tighter than the other so this is a really good opportunity for you to work on okay you might have some hamstring stretch on one side and a tight hip on the other. So get that hand in and try and push it down within reason. Get around, enjoy the sun, tilt over, and try and get that stretch done. Now, if you've got one side tight and the other, like I have, then you need to work on that side perhaps a little bit more. You might do another set on that. So we're in between sets, between the deadlifts and the leg press we're doing, you might do another set of this, okay? But remember, we're doing three rounds of this, so I'm just showing you one round. So three rounds, all right. So then you work into your deadlift, and then we're gonna superset it with the leg press extension, which I'll show you. So deadlift, you need a harder band, like this. Okay, feet nice and wide, right? Feet facing forward, knees apart. Grab the band down here, so you're down in that deadlift position way, way down here, all right, okay? And then my back's nice and flat, arms straight, and it's just hip in straight up, okay? down with the band, take you down, bum goes backwards, bum does not go down, it goes backwards, okay? So try and keep your core on, slow down, nice flat back, hinge forward, okay? Try and work on the stretch on the hamstrings on the way down, and then glutes on the way up, okay? Down, trying to keep your lower back in neutral, the whole time. Now if you're struggling with keeping your core on, you do this breathing. So that turns on your obliques, keeps that core a little bit more rigid, nice and stable. All right, that's your deadlift, Romanian deadlift. And then the last one is with your thicker band and you wrap it around a pole or over a door whatever you can find. One legged, okay? So this is one leg. Very good substitute for people who are, want to do leg press, but haven't got a gym. So it's straight out and back. Now it's a bit wobbly, so you've got to control it. This is really good for your knee, hip control, great for skiers. Anyone who's had an ACL rupture and repair, and they haven't got a leg press, but they want to do some quads and glute work and you know, leg extension work together, fantastic. Try and keep this core stable, okay? Nice and tight in here. And hold onto the bar, no problem with that. Breathing out and back, okay? Swap it to the other side. In here, okay? Get enough tension on the band, straight out. Back. Don't extend the back. Okay? Keep that back in neutral. See it's a bit wobbly. 
You've got to control that, which is great for your hip control. Okay. So that's your four rehab exercises, two mobility, three rounds of that. See you next time.